The speech that I need to give now is not one of my favorite speeches. It's a very important speech. Uh, there's an old saying we've all heard before, good help's hard to find. Here's my experience. Good help is not only hard to find, it's almost impossible to replace. Uh, those words have come to my mind quite often in the days since my state director, Robin Bailey, told us that she had decided to retire. As we began our search for a new state director, it soon became apparent that you can't replace Robin Bailey. There's only one Robin Bailey. I was fortunate to have the original on my team since that first day that I came to Washington to represent the people of the state of Wyoming. Robin's story and her service in the center begins in 1977 in Cheyenne. She heard there was an opening on Senator Malcolm Wallop's staff. It sounded like an interesting job. It would give her a chance to work on behalf of the people of Wyoming. She submitted an application for the position of office manager. Fortunately, Malcolm made the perfect choice and added her to his staff. He was fortunate that Robin was there to make sure that everything was done and done well. After serving on Malcolm Wallop's staff for a few years, Robin's husband, Ron, accepted a job in Rock Springs. They packed their bags and moved there. That was not to be the end of Robin's Senate career. In 1984, Senator Al Simpson chose her to take the challenges of the office in Rock Springs. Later, the Baileys moved to Gillette, my hometown, and Senator Simpson just changed where she worked. Here's where I come in. I'll never forget 1966 and the decision that my wife Diana and I made to run for the United States Senate. <clears throat> Things came together for us, and soon after the victory parties were over, it became apparent that I had a bigger issue to contend with, putting my staff together. Now that the campaign had ended, I had to make sure we continued to provide the people of Wyoming with the support and assistance to which they'd come to rely on uh, over the years. I started going through the stacks of resumes and then visited with my predecessor, Al Simpson. Over the years, he'd put together a remarkable staff. Some of them were willing to stay on. I was delighted that Robin Bailey was willing to continue to serve the people of Wyoming out of the Gillette office. Over the years, my staff and I have noticed that Robin has two responses to most questions. Either she knows the answer or she knows how to find the answer. I don't think anyone has a better or more extensive system of resources and contacts than she does. Having her on my staff came in handy when in 2000 I had to find a new state director. Dee Rodeker, who was Senator Simpson's state director and then my state director, decided to retire and to enjoy all that she'd earned with her service to the people of the state. Fortunately, she and I and all my staff knew we had someone already prepared that would be a perfect fit. That's Robin Bailey. We extended her duties and we put her in charge of all the state offices. She not only exceeded our expectations, she took everything to the next level. She was a constant source of support, guidance, and direction for the people in my state offices, and she was always there with a word of good advice or a suggestion about how to take on a problem. She was a great mentor to my staff. The new ones and the more seasoned veterans, because of her great love of and knowledge about Wyoming, were able to do great things. She's the kind of resource every office needs to have if we're to do the best possible job of taking care of the people in our home states. My chief of staff has often said that Robin is the best and most natural supervisor he has ever met. And every day she's been on my staff, she's proven the truth of those words and her value as one of my team leaders. Robin is one of the people who stands out from all the rest. She's known and respected by all. She has a talent for not only knowing what's going on in Wyoming, but also understanding what it means in the short and long term. Robin has never worked for me. She has always worked with me. That's part of what made her a great asset for Senator Malcolm Wallop, Senator Al Simpson, and then me. That makes three generations of Wyoming congressional delegation and family. Robin could write a book about being an effective state director. It would be the how-to manual of all time. It would help a person learn how to be an effective leader, to help others, to be the eyes and ears of what's happening, and to enjoy the job all at the same time. A big part of the job has been traveling around the state to see what's going on and how people feel about it. In my office, I relied on Robin to travel around Wyoming and represent me at a long list of meetings and hearings and presentations. We wanted her there because she's a good listener. She not only hears what the people have to say, she has an uncanny sense of understanding what they're really driving at and how best to address that. She would then let me know what she saw and heard, and it was the next best thing to being there myself. You've heard the expression, you can't be everywhere at once. Robin's been my solution to that problem. 
Her travels have allowed her to get to know people in every corner of the state. She not only enjoys meeting people, but she welcomes the chance to get to know them and to help with their problems. That's why she's been able to make a difference over the years in more lives than we'll ever know. Her life has not been without its challenges, however, and one such challenge came about when her husband, Ron, began to have some serious issues with his heart and then Alzheimer's. It was a difficult time for her, but she never complained about what she had to do. She just did it. She honored her commitment to her husband, and she continued to provide him with the support, care, and attention that has always been a hallmark of their relationship. When he passed away and she lost this great love of her life, she thought it might be time to consider making changes in the rest of her life as well. When Robin told Diana and me that she felt the time had come to retire and follow a different path in life, we did what most every one of us would do. We told her to take a few years making up her mind. Unfortunately, that didn't work, and now she's begun to make plans for the next chapter of her life. She'll be spending more time with her family, especially her grandchildren. She's already shown she's a very special and, in fact, spectacular grandmother. I know her family will enjoy having her take a more active role in their lives. I know she'll continue to make a difference helping others. She'll continue to be a great gift to all who know her and for those who she is soon to meet. I don't think Diane and I have ever met someone who is more focused or more determined to help others. For Robin, every day that's spent making life easier for someone else is a good day. We're all sorry to see Robin close this chapter of her life, but we know she's doing it for all the right reasons. She said she had reached a point in her life when it just seemed to be time to try something new. We'll miss Robin's wealth of resources, knowledge, skills, and abilities that just can't be replaced. Over the years, she set a very high mark of excellence. Her achievements, the milestones she's established in my office for outstanding effort and accomplishment, and her determination to make Wyoming a better place to live from one corner to the other will be a legacy of her service to the Senate, to the people, and to the state of Wyoming, even to our nation. In the years to come, each member of my staff will take with them a different favorite memory of working with Robin. For my chief of staff, it'll be the way in which she would always bring a solution with her to any discussion of a problem. For others, it will be the way she would always find a way to handle any issue, no matter how difficult or perplexing, or how she seemed to not only be familiar with someone's issues, she also seemed to know almost everyone that was involved. For my part, I'll always remember how much it meant to me to know that I could ask her to take on an assignment and leave it with her, knowing it would be done well. She always found a way to do what was needed and expected and then some more. Perhaps her greatest gift is her ability to effectively manage her time and resources. For Robin, it's not a problem if there's only 24 hours in a day because she makes the best use of every minute of every hour. Good luck, Robin, and may God continue to bless you and all those who come into your life in the years to come. You'll be missed, but we know where to find you. It's good to know that you'll never be more than a phone call away. We hope you fully enjoy your retirement. You've earned it, and then some. I yield the floor.